YouTubers and Facebook lookers. I have did some research today because the detoxing had me a little bit on the sluggish side. So I wanted to make sure that I was giving you guys the recommended dose. If you are a diabetic, do not use apple cider vinegar unless you have spoken with your doctor. If you're not a diabetic, then remember do not use more than two teaspoons with the, the mixture that I told you guys about because it has to be broken down. I'm going to tell you five major side effects from the research that I've done. Um, also, I'm going to show you guys a healthy meal that we made today in the crock pot. It's not tasty, um, but it was. it's better for me. Cherry boy the chicken. But I'm going to add yellow rice because it only has, oh, let's see here. It only has 200 calories. And it is for two servings, so that means that if you eat the right portion, that's 100 calories per person. And plus, we're using some bland drumsticks, so there's no seasoning on that. So it shouldn't be a lot from that. Okay, so anyway, according to www.stylecraze, that's C-R-A-Z-E dot com, the five side effects of apple cider vinegar. In order to prevent side effects to apple cider vinegar, you, it must be blended with water, juice, or a pinch of baking soda. Or like we did, we used lemons, we used cayenne pepper, so we made it less of a problem for all of us. If you follow those directions specifically, it can cause tissue disruption if you overuse it. According to Arkansas's Department of Human Environment and Science, so they did a whole study on it, it can give you, if a high level of acidic acid can damage or corrode your esophagus or the lining in your stomach. Please do not overuse and please do not listen. I saw another video on YouTube where a young lady used four ounces of water. There's not enough water. You have to use at least eight ounces to not cause damage to your tissue or to your esophagus. Okay. It can give you low potassium. That, that's that reason why I had that sluggish feeling because low blood sugar will make you sleep all day. Look it up. All right. Uh, and the low potassium can reduce your bone density. Uh, I know you guys don't want to reduce your bone density or your hip because that can cause a lot of problems. Drug reaction. If you are taking other things to, to help you lose weight like diuretics or again if you are diabetic and use insulin, you cannot intermingle these two because it's really damaging and it's really dangerous. So please don't do that. Okay, if you're overusing this apple cider vinegar, it says you can have serious diarrhea. So that's not part of losing weight. Serious diarrhea is not part of losing weight. So don't think you're using it right just because you're running to the bathroom. You can be detoxed by urinating. It does not have to be diarrhea. Okay, so it can give you diarrhea, indigestion, as well as heartburn. Please make sure that you only do the one dose. You only drink one 8-ounce bottle. Do not overdo it. Do not drink more than 8 ounces because it can cause serious issues as far as long-term health. Okay. So anyway, this right here is just me showing you guys that I did make it. I set it in the refrigerator. So every day I'm going to only do the 8 ounce. You don't have to drink it all at once. You can drink it throughout the day. Just make sure you consume that 1 8 ounce. But drink water throughout the day as well. Not just this. You need to drink other water. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, if Cherry will bring you guys over to the crock pot, you'll see that we are boiling chicken. We did put some onions in there. Um, I think she added some, what kind of dressing that is? Italian. She added some zesty Italian just for the season because we did not add any salt or pepper or anything like that. We did let the chicken marinate to try to hold the flavor. But I ate some of that chicken and I tell you it's like eating paper. <laughs> and it really like eating paper. I promise y'all. <laughs> they laughed because I think they did on purpose. But either way, I'm going to add the yellow rice. You can get this at Walmart for 78 cents. Uh, I know Big Lock sell it. Any one of the stores around here may have it in their perishable food section. And if you look at the, if Cherry bring it in, you guys can see that they're seasoning already with the rice. We've been boiling this chicken for a little while, so it's set to warm. What, what I did was just make sure that the rice got into the water. We're not going to add, they may add seasoning to theirs because we're trying to make sure that I do the balanced diet. Once the rice is done, I'm going to add some green beans for me. And for them because they like green beans. They may even eat some bread, but I'm not going to eat that. So once you add it in there, you see your rice, your rice well and it's soft enough to eat. Then you have your balanced meal, but make sure you have your green vegetable. Uh, and I did today eat uh, Cheerios twice. I didn't eat a boiled egg today, but I ate one yesterday. So 
keep it. Oh yeah, one thing I want to show you guys about the waist trainer. The waist trainer is not for the club. It's for exercising. To make sure that you have it properly, you need to make sure that the your, you have a good enough bra on with a thick enough strap that it comes over the top of the waist trainer. That way it's not hurting your hip or pressing down into your hip and it's not hurting you or leaving scarring on your body. So when you have the waist trainer on, use that for exercise. Today we just did some walking. I didn't do many sit-ups today because again, I drunk this three or four times yesterday making videos for y'all. I overdid it. Not anymore. Thank you for watching.